Hi everyone, Rick Bray here with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to share a Google Doc. Now, the first thing since I've created this Google Doc, we need to do is title it. You'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, it's currently called an untitled document. And if I hover over that, it asks me to rename it. So by simply clicking in there, I can rename it, and just like Microsoft Word, it'll take the first few words or the first word and make that the title. But I can simply type in demo, and that's what I'll call it. And again, you'll notice all changes saved in Drive. It saves that file name. So to share this, it's just like we saw with Google Drive files. It works the same way. We can click on this blue share button. Now, when I hover over it, you notice it says, private only to me. That's showing the current share permissions. So right now this document is only uh, accessible to me. And if I click on share, it'll bring up the ability to uh, share with others. Now I can enter people's email addresses. I can give them the ability to either edit, comment, or view. Keeping in mind again, edit means they can comp edit the document. They have full rights to the file. Comment simply means that they can make post-it notes and stickies off to the side of the document, but they can't actually change the contents of the doc. And then view is pretty self-explanatory. It just lets them see what's going on. So again, you could e put in people's email addresses here, and I suggest doing that if you have one to maybe five, ten, maybe 10 people you're working on this document with. Otherwise, if you have a larger audience, just like we did with Google Drive files, I would suggest in the upper right hand corner clicking this get shareable link, which will bring up a slightly new window. And here, again, my sharing permissions, anyone at my domain, btboces.org, with the link can view. So I can copy this link, put it in an email, my Schoology course, wherever I wanna put it, and anyone can view it. I can change that so that they can anyone can edit it or anyone can comment with it. Now again, this is strictly in my domain of BT BOCES. So if I wanted to share it with anyone outside of BOCES, I need to click more and select on anyone with the link. Again, the difference between on anyone with the link, on anyone at BT BOCES with the link, this upper choice here, uh, anyone with the link can get it. They don't have to be in my domain. So that's good if you're working with people outside your uh, me.steer or windsor-csd.org email list. So I know sharing can be a little complicated with the different permissions and everything. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email either Taylor or myself at our email addresses below. In the next video, we're gonna look at some more advanced tools that Google Docs has to offer. But thanks for watching.